Hello from Butterfly. If you want to support us, you can do so with the super thanks button below. Let's get to the video. In the last couple weeks, I've been pouring over our texts to one another, laughing and crying then laughing again. Aniston wrote, Jennifer Aniston is reflecting on the loss of her longtime friend, Matthew Perry, for the first time since Perry, 54, died from an apparent drowning on October 28. Aniston has spoken out about her friend's co-star and his enduring legacy after his death. Aniston's Instagram tribute for Perry featured a photo of the pair on set together alongside their loving text exchange containing the same image. Additionally, she included a scene of the duo during the sitcom's 2004 series finale, where their characters Rachel Green and Chandler Bing expressed their love for one another. Oh boy this one has cut deep. Having to say goodbye to our Maddie has been an insane wave of emotions that I've never experienced before," began the actress. 54. We all experience loss at some point in our lives. Loss of life or loss of love. Being able to really sit in this grief allows you to feel the moments of joy and gratitude for having loved someone that deep. And we loved him deeply. He was such a part of our DNA. We were always the six of us. This was a chosen family that forever changed the course of who we were and what our path was going to be," she continued. For Maddie, he knew he loved to make people laugh. As he said himself, if he didn't hear the laugh, he thought he was going to die. His life literally depended on it. And boy did he succeed in doing just that. He made all of us laugh. And laugh hard. Noting further how she's continued to process this loss. Aniston said she had been looking back on their many text conversations, even sharing one of them in slide 2. In the last couple weeks, I've been pouring over our texts to one another, laughing and crying then laughing again. I'll keep them forever and ever. I found one text that he sent me out of nowhere one day. It says it all. See the second slide. She said, Maddie, I love you so much and I know you are now completely at peace and out of any pain. I talk to you every day. Sometimes I can almost hear you saying, could you be any crazier? She added, rest little brother. You always made my day. The actors had been friends since meeting on the hit 90s sitcom and Perry had publicly praised Aniston for her constant support and presence in his life just a year before his death. She was the one that reached out the most. You know, I'm really grateful to her for that, he said of the actress in an October 2022 interview with Diane Sawyer. In his memoir Friends, Lovers, and The Big Terrible Thing, Perry also revealed that Aniston was the person who initially confronted him about his addiction problem. Imagine how scary a moment that was. He recalled of the difficult conversation during his interview with Sawyer. For more Butterfly, follow us.